Welcome to the Smite God reveal for the Morrigan, Phantom Queen. Fate is an unusual thing, an unseen force predicting every action of every being. Many deities can see it, recognize the flow of the plan. However, there is only one that claims mastery over it. She has many goddesses with many names and forms, but there is only one title, the Morrigan. Long ago, there were three sisters, Anu, Maka, and Bav, who were the progenitors of sovereignty, war, and death. They were caretakers of their lush green air, champions for soldiers, and guides for the deceased. The strength of their bond was unknown. Whether it was brought on by a curse or a more sinister reason, they were inseparable and eventually they became the Morrigan. Now, she takes on many shapes. The lurid seductress, the wrinkled hag, the screaming crow. Amidst these facades, she takes the worst one of all, the washer in the river. Subtle and manipulative, there is no war the Morrigan did not incite. No dying breath she did not collect. Even this war, a war between gods, must secretly be of her making. So beware those that behold her, for the Morrigan controls your fate. Morrigan's passive is Doomsayer. The third hit of the Morrigan's hit chain will explode, dealing damage to all enemies within range and dooming all enemies hit. Doomed enemies will take additional damage over time. Morrigan's first ability is Deadly Aspects. The Morrigan summons her alternate forms to her side. When activated again, they focus their power together to damage and stun enemies in front of them. Morrigan's second ability is Dark Omen. Morrigan launches a wave of dark magic at her enemies, dealing damage and applying an omen to them for a short time. Enemies with an omen will take bonus damage the next time they are hit by any allied ability. Morrigan's third ability is Confusion. The Morrigan creates a phantom of herself while becoming stealthed and gaining increased movement speed. The Phantom runs to the target area, deals no damage, and will die if it takes any damage. Morrigan loses any bonuses from this ability if she takes damage. Morrigan's ultimate is Changeling. The Morrigan selects a god from the current match and becomes a copy of them. She copies all their current stats, items, and may use all of their abilities for the duration. She retains her own relics and cannot use consumables. Additionally, the rank of her abilities will transfer to the skills of the god she copies. This ability's cooldown will increase if the targeted god's ultimate is used and has a longer cooldown than the Morrigan's base cooldown. Confusion is a powerful tool that, when used well, can be a great way to escape or misdirect your opponents. If an enemy cannot see you, have your clone run directly at them while you sneak behind them. They will either run towards the real you or waste an ability on the clone, giving you an advantage either way. Additionally, be aware that taking any damage will break the stealth and make you lose your movement speed. Be careful using this when in persistent area of effects, like Ra's Solar Blessing, or if you are affected by a damage over time effect. Doomsayer has a strong ability to combo with your other sources of damage. When alone, Doomsayer can be procced by three aspects or another Doomsayer, letting you either proc it at close range or from far away. The difference between a good Phantom Queen or a great Phantom Queen will come down to how you use her ultimate. When launching into a game, make a note of all the gods you can transform into and think of which synergies or strengths you can take advantage of. When a team fight hits, it can become hectic fast, so planning ahead into which god you want to transform could be the difference between being a playmaker or dying early. The Morrigan is our first Celtic god. 
Her role is that of a mage. The Morrigan focuses on confusing her opponents and looking for opportunities to get in close and burst down her enemies. Dark Omen allows her damage to be quite high on a few targets when combined with other abilities, while Confusion lets her sneak in and out of fights as needed. Additionally, she is a flexible god in that she can be any god from the current game during her ultimate. The ability to choose helps her have the right tool at the right time to defeat her opponents. Pair the Morrigan with aggressive frontline characters like Sobic, Nike, or Odin, as they will give her the protection needed to deal her damage and transform into the right god. Also, be aware that the gods you pair with the Morrigan have a direct role in what choices she has during her ultimate. The Morrigan can play as both a jungler or a mid laner, but for this video, we are going to focus on her mid laning capability. You will want to start and prioritize Dark Omen, as this acts as your primary clear tool. At level 2, pick up 3 aspects, and at level 4, pick up Confusion. Getting this early will give the Morrigan additional tools to be aggressive or survive the lane. Once you hit level 5, you will want to prioritize Changeling, followed by Dark Omen, then Deadly Aspects, and finally, confusion. The Morrigan's build will vary depending on which role you are playing. As a mid laner, you will want to balance power, cooldown, and utility to focus more on team fights in the mid game. Start with Soul Stone, Shoes, and Health Potions. This will give you extra clear power, mana regeneration, and enough health potions to get through the early game. Next, Rush Shoes of the Magi and Kronos Pendant. The early pen and cooldown reduction will allow you to poke enemies effectively while looking for a kill. Gem of Isolation is a strong third item, giving the Morrigan additional utility with a nice health boost which helps her get in close with deadly aspects. Round out her build with Obsidian Shard, Rod of Tahuti, and Soul Reaver. These items provide needed stats such as penetration, power, a burst damage to help her scale into the late game. Thank you for watching the Smite God reveal for the Morrigan Phantom Queen.